Woof, woof. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol ZOM, Zoomedicare. So this is one of the companies that was actually on Robinhood's not at least when they um, you know had a bunch of companies, including GameStop, where people couldn't buy on the platform. So this stock got a lot of attention because of that. So that's why I want us to cover it. And then um, some news that uh, can potentially drive the price of the stock. I want to make sure that I, get, I give you guys that information. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So Zoomedicare, guys, is a company that is really working on, uh, you know, helping uh, the lives of our uh, dogs and cats so and they produce a lot of diagnostics and um, medications and things that can improve the lives of those uh those pets i mean there's people that love their animals just like their, like kids so um i can see how a company like this has a huge place in the market so again like i said this company was actually included on that robin hood nautilus and for some reason, uh, people took notice of it, and the stock has actually been performing better after they were on that list. Um, compared to GameStop and, and, and AMC that has been pulling back, this stock has actually moved up uh, on the upside. So let's take a look here on the charts, and I'll show you exactly how the stock has moved. So you can see here, prior to that, uh, the stock was actually trading under a dollar, if you can see here. Um, on a dollar and ever since they got on that list and see it's just, it's just been slowly but steadily climbing to the point where um, as of last Friday, the stock actually hit a new 52 week high of about two dollars, just just right there at two dollars, which is crazy. So uh, I, I think it, to me, the reason why the stock was moving again is because of the attention that it got from um, the Wall Street bet group on Reddit. But for people that are investing in the stock that knew exactly what this company does, they might not see this as just like a fluke. They know that something is coming uh, for this company. So um, the reason, again, why I think the stock is going to move even higher is because um, by, I think, March 30th, that's the date that um, the company has uh, announced that they're going to they're gonna actually put out a new product, a new diagnostic system that is going to be fast it's going to be accurate um to diagnose diseases in cats and dogs so this is a really important because um if you look the traditional uh, method of diagnosing diseases in dogs um this one is going to be cost efficient and it's going to be faster so a lot of vets are going to probably gravitate towards um this this particular system and i've seen analysts on on wall street uh, you know projecting that this company would probably generate about 250 million in revenue by 2025. So that's huge. Again, the new system, I think it's called Trueformer um, Diagnostic Systems. That is the one that's coming out that they're going to really put out on March 30th. So that is the huge catalyst that I think is going to drive the price of the stock. So again, if the stock price continue to hold here at this level is right now at uh, 189, if it continue to hold at this level and then anticipate that when that when they put out this new product, this new uh, Trueformer diagnostic systems, uh, on March 30th, the stock price is probably going to test at least 5 or $6. Again, for people that are not currently in this stock, um, I don't want you to panic and jump right in. Just, again, do what we, we teach here on the channel. Wait for an opportunity. Stocks will usually come to you. When you chase them, you get in trouble. Because when you chase, you always buy at the top. And then when it pulls back, you're stuck with it. Wait for it. Be patient. Don't don't let FOMO get you because that is the reason why most people end up holding stocks in the red. Wait for it. It's not going to leave you behind. Most stocks, after every gap, it's always going to be a pause and it's going to come back to you. So I'll say, for instance, right now, if I'm looking at this stock, instead of me chasing the stock right now, I would probably wait and put maybe my order. I'm looking at getting into this thing. I'll start averaging my weight into it maybe at around 140, 130. If it pulls back to that point, that's when I'm going to start averaging myself. Again, if you want to get up here just because you cannot help yourself, 
the, the one thing you could do is if you have to buy, let's say you want to buy a thousand shares, you start with say 200 here and see what happens. When you see 200, if it drops, you just wait and see. When you see a little bit of support as it drops, then you add another 200 or 250. And if it keeps dropping, you look for another support right there, you add another 200 until you get to the point where you feel comfortable, you can get your 1,000 shares. But at that point, you've averaged your way down because you spread started out at 189. $1.89, you've moved your weight down. You probably average your weight down to sitting somewhere around 140 or 130. Trust me, just that difference of about 20 or 30 cents when you're buying a thousand shares makes a huge difference. That is a lot of money that you could be leaving on the table um, and not taking advantage of. So that's something that I want you to be aware of. Again, guys, the ticket symbol here is Zomedica. Uh, of Zomedica is Z O M. And the company currently right now trading above uh, their 52-week high. And so, again, there's a huge catalyst, like I said, coming in March. Um, they're going to they're gonna launch the new product called a Trueformer Diagnostic System, which is going to be faster and more accurate when it comes to uh, diagnosing diseases in dogs and cats. And I think um, it's going to really drive the price of the stock up. So if you are simply looking for a swing trade, this might be an opportunity. Wait for that that dip, get in, and then hold it. Maybe ride it through uh, the end of March and make some profit. But if you're looking for long term, and wait for that pullback, get in, and just keep adding as you go. If you believe in the company, just keep adding as you go. So this is one of the companies that I'm going to buy in my uh, $1,000 challenge. So I'm going to pick up some shares of this in anticipation of that March uh, catalyst. So as soon as that catalyst comes and goes, I'm probably going to sell. I don't want to hold it long term. I know there's a long term potential there, but in that account, I'm just looking for growth. So I'm going to sell, take profit, and then try to invest it in some and find some other stocks to invest in. So that's that's my game plan. So let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you currently have this in your portfolio? If yes, what was your entry price? Again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, guys, so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, they give you free stocks at no cost to you. Links in the description below. And as always, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.